you know, obviously it uh, was not the pit football team that I'd like to see. I, I don't think we came out with the emotion uh, that we could have. I thought we came out flat and, and blame me uh, for that because we've got to come out, you know, revved up and get ready to go every week uh, after an emotional win like we had a week ago. Um, sometimes it's hard to get them going, and and uh, I didn't feel it from the beginning. Obviously, we had a lot of guys playing the football game, to say the least. Uh, backup quarterbacks, a couple tailbacks out. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, we got the win. We found a way to get it done. Uh, but just you know, critical errors all over the place. Uh, Thirteen penalties, um, ridiculous. Late hit out of bounds. You know, um, thinks he's inbounds. Um, maybe we got to brighten up the sidelines or something. Um, but you know, just little things here and there that uh, stop drives. Way too many penalties, and and uh, you know, we got a roughing the punter. Um, shake my head on that one. Um, but you know, just little stuff all over the place. But you know, I was happy for Todd Sibley to get his opportunity to go out there and run it and get it done. Nick Patty made some plays when we needed to. Nice, uh, nice one down the pipe there with uh, Valik, and then Taser made some great catches at the end to uh, put us ahead. So questions. At what point this week did you know you were going with Nick Patty? You know what? Um, really, game time. Um, you know, I just don't think you know Kenny was 100%, um, and uh, you know thought all week that he was going to be able to go. Um, but I did warn our kids. Um, I did warn our kids from you know. Um, early in the week that, hey, I don't care who goes. Uh, I wanted to make sure there wasn't a letdown. Maybe there was a letdown. Maybe everybody thought Kenny was going to play. Um, but, uh, you know, we've gone through that in the past. Uh, back when I was at Cincinnati, we all thought Gino Gadouli, who's the quarterback coach at Cincinnati, was going to go in uh, last game of the season, and he didn't go. And I think everybody was in shock. So I, you know, prepared myself. You, you learn as coaches and players from, from your mistakes and things you did in the past. But, uh, um, you know, uh, really a game time decision. Uh, no, no, uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny didn't take many snaps at all, uh, to be honest with you. I think most of the media was out there on Tuesday and saw that he didn't practice, at least earlier, throw a ball. Um, but uh, Nick took most of the reps uh, the entire week with Jeff George as well. Could Kenny have played if necessary, Pat? You know what, you know, if necessary. I mean, the most important thing is his health, and uh, it's a long season. I was glad Nick was able to get out there and make some plays. It's going to make us that much stronger as the season goes on. And same thing with the tailback position. Uh, we had a lot of – we were banged up this, this week, uh, period. And uh, it was just good to get, you know, get some twos out there and, and, and let them go play. If this was Miami, Clemson, Virginia, you think Kenny suits up and plays? Again, I'm just going to, you know, I, I, I'm going to say the same thing. It comes down to health, and I don't want to put anybody in harm's way. He goes out there and tweaks, uh, tweaks it again. You know, we'll all be kicking ourselves in the tail. So, um, you know, I thought we could go out there with Nick Patty and win the football game, and, and we obviously did, not in a pretty manner, but we got the W. From the Davis guys, were they taking reps this week at running back? Uh, no. You said this week, will they, or next week, or did this week? Did they just pass? No, they did not. Why didn't he play? Um, you know, where, where's Jerry at? Jerry, tell him. Could you tell him? We'll talk later. Okay, we'll talk later. Get, get him later. But, you know, he wasn't ready to go. I mean, he, he didn't get suspended, I'll tell you that. Um, he's banged up. And, again, we had a physical game a week ago. Um, everybody's happy we got a win, but we were banged up a little bit going into this game, period. We'll, we'll figure it out this week. If I knew that, I, I'd have a nice crystal ball in front of me. I don't have a crystal ball. Pat, maybe the last injury question. Uh, Jason Pinnock, you said Monday would play. Was something that did something happen midweek to him, or was no? That no, he banged up. I thought he would. You know, and again, I just you know I can't. You know, Jay Stocker was out as well. I mean, we, we were down a few guys. Uh, Chase Pine was out as well. So um, we had we had a lot of guys that uh, that uh, got an opportunity to play today and. You know, we'll worry about the guys that got out there to play. They, they want those opportunities. They get those opportunities. We'll watch the tape and find out uh, what they look like. Was there one thing that frustrated you the most about today's performance? Was it the energy? Was it the penalties? Was there Probably the energy and the, and, you know, the emotion that we had or didn't have, and, and the penalties drive me nuts. Pat, do you feel like your defense, I mean, other than the two short fields, kept you in the game for a long, long portion of it? They really did. That's a good offense. That quarterback, I think we got him sacked six or seven times, and, and we missed him four or five times. That guy's a football player. Um, you know, he was at Georgia to start off with and went to junior college and came out. He's a football player. And, you know, I think I, you know, told you guys that earlier. He can scramble. He likes to scramble to his right. We knew he liked to scramble to his right. I don't know how many times he scrambled out to his right and made some plays with his feet. So he's a good football player. They'll win a lot of football games uh, this season. Uh, how, how did you feel about how Nick Patty played? How much does Taysir Mack help? Right? Well, Taysir Mack helps every quarterback that's on the field for sure. Um, he's a playmaker. But, you know, I think he played solid for his first start. I mean, 
uh, remember this, it's a lot different starting a football game as opposed to jumping in there. Um, you know, there's a pregame nerves, and I don't know if he knew he was going to start or not. Um, I didn't know. Um, but, uh, you know, he looked sharp in pregame, and I think he did, you know, an admirable job. Uh, we'll go back. I mean, he throws, throws a pick, which obviously he can't do. There are two touchdowns again, guys. I can count the touchdowns. I mean, go back to Virginia. They had three touchdowns they scored in the game, and they were all, what, you know, 17, 27, and 29 yards. And today we got a 21-yard drive for a touchdown on a 41-yard drive. So our defense obviously played pretty darn good. You know, they bent, but they didn't break. We got to do a better job in sudden change situations. So we'll have a sudden change period on uh, – we may have two sudden change periods on Tuesday. We're going we're gonna to play better sudden change defense. Uh, are you concerned with the, where the running game is right now? I mean, three quarters, it wasn't there. Yeah, you know, I, again, it is what it is. Um, you know, we've been throwing the ball better. They were dropping eight at times, and then we started getting the run game going. I think, like I said, Sibley did a good job. I'm always concerned. I'm, you know, last year I was concerned with the passing game. This year I'm concerned with the run game. So it's, you know, nothing's, nothing's ever perfect. We'll just continue to work at it and, and, uh, and get better. Drive. I mean, what's that say about his band playing like in super well at that point? A lot of pressure. You don't want to lose this game. Mm -hmm. but did he stay cool throughout that whole process? He really did. He stayed cool. He was he was composed. You know, he didn't take any sacks today and, and made one really bad decision. Um, you know, it's protect the football and, and, and we'll have a chance to win every football game if we do that. You know, we didn't get any turnovers again uh, today defensively. We had a chance early um, and, and missed an opportunity and, and uh, give them credit. Guys, I mean, it might be hard to kind of evaluate how the team did as a whole. But what did what did you learn, if, if anything, after today? You know, after well, again, we got we got you know we got a character football team that found a way to win. I mean, there's some teams will find a way to lose. Uh, our kids, you know, held in there, made one more play that they needed to, and and uh, we made that final drive. You know, again, it was a heck of a job by our offense, and our defense hung out and continued to play and got three and outs when they needed to. When you found out all these guys that didn't play weren't available before kickoff. Kenny was the only one I found out about before kickoff, really. Um, but, uh, you know, the rest of them I knew. You know, I knew we were going to have to step up. I talked to Heather earlier in the week and said, you know, we're banged up. And, and uh, I mean, you know, it's kind of what we, we thought we would be. And, and, again, you're just looking for guys to make opportunities, uh, you know, maximize their opportunities. And, like I said, Todd Sibley did that today. And, and I think Nick Patty made enough plays to win.